uh, in the question number 59 we will use the formula v square equals to omega square in bracket a square minus x square in both the cases in first case we will consider that velocity is v therefore in second case it will be 3v as given in the question a is the amplitude initial amplitude and omega is the angular frequency of the shl first in first case v square equals to omega square a square because the displacement that means the location of the particle is 2a by 3 from the mean position therefore we can write x equal to 2a by 3 in first case in second case velocity become 3v omega remains same because time period only depends on mass and k the new say new amplitude is a dash and the value of x remains same, same that is 2a by 3 on solving these two equation we get the value of a dash that is a dash equals to 7a by 3 therefore the correct answer is 1 and the question number 60 uh, first of all we calculate the value of resistance from the given data that is current and voltage in first case so from here uh, on applying ohm's law that is r equals to v by i we get the value of resistance that is 8 ohm in second case because the uh, lamp is connected with the ac source so here z becomes same as v by i that is z equals to 220 volt upon current the value of current is 10 now the value of z as we know is root over xl square plus 8 square from here we get the value of xl that is root over 420 and since frequency in this question is given that is 50 hertz so on putting the value of that frequency in omega l we get the value of l which comes out to be 0 0.065 henry therefore the correct answer is 1